When I was a kid, my parents used to take me to drive-in movie theaters all the time. They were everywhere. But over the years, you've just seen them kind of disappear slowly one by one. But if there's one thing I've hoped for in the future is to bring back drive-in movie theaters, and that is exactly what we're doing today. In today's episode, join Sky and I as we truck camp a drive-in movie theater and live out my childhood dream. This was definitely one of my favorite camping destinations of all time, and I'm super excited to share this with you guys. If you happen to click on this video and you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and follow along all the crazy truck camping adventures that we go on because Scott and I are about to hit the road again to go on a very big trip. So stay tuned for that. Now let's hop into today's episode. Okay, the truck camper set up. We are legitimately the only people right now, which is a little creepy, but kind of cool at the same time. Nonetheless, I need to go to the bathroom and I tried parking my truck semi close or as close as I can to a restroom and kind of nailed it to be honest with you. So I'm gonna go check out the bathrooms. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. This is about as cool as it gets. I've done some cool things on the channel, but I think this triumphs a lot of things. Restrooms, this guy's going in to scope it out first. I think that's the men's bathroom, I'm gonna be honest. There were some urinals. <laughs> Huh? Huh? That is nothing crazy, but I'll take it. Okay, I gotta go pee. One sec. I have so much to catch you guys up on this episode. There's been so much going on and I'm so excited to share some of it with you guys. I'm so excited to be literally camping and watching a movie tonight. I, I you know, I love using my projector <laughs> when I'm truck camping. I've done that a few times with you guys, but this is, you know, 20, 50, a hundred times that size so yeah this is so cool no exaggeration when i say this is like the coolest thing i've ever done but also so smart on the owner's part because they know that people would pay the extra however much money to camp here when they're already paying for the movie tickets it's like 10 bucks for a movie ticket 40 bucks to camp here still pricey but from like an owner's perspective, props to them because this is super, super smart. And I was in denial when I first saw that this was a thing. And now that I'm here, this is so cool. And it makes so much sense. Anyways, sorry I'm rambling. I just miss you guys a lot, but look at my truck. Hopefully you guys can't see it that well. Uh, it's a disaster. Mm -hmm. Yep, I have a lot of picking up I need to do. Otherwise, I'm gonna drive myself crazy. It's, it's actually one of the worst it's ever been. There's just a lot of random stuff from being up in Canada with my family, which is one of the big things I want to talk to you guys about. But first thing first, let's let's clean the house. The house is dirty. Look, it's not perfect, but you can walk in here and see the floor. I'll explain in a minute why I have so many new things in the truck making it very uh, messy. I'll explain soon. A special thank you to today's video sponsor, ESR. I live a very rugged, fast-paced lifestyle, which means that all my electronics need to be protected in some sort of case. But I think we all know that not all cases are made the same. So today I'm going to showcase to you guys the ESR Cyber Flick Lock case for AirPod Pros. One of my most used products of all time are going to be headphones. I edit my own videos, which means that using headphones just increases the sound quality and I can actually tell what I'm editing. So these are my life and I cannot afford to lose them, which is why I chose ESR to protect them. They have a drop-proof magnet lid lock. Easy outdoor use so you can bring your technology outside and have no worries. And of course, the powerful drop protection. The ESR Cyber Flick Lock case is shock absorbing and has air guard corners to keep your charging case safe from even the worst drops and impacts because accidents happen. I'm very known for that. <laughs> Ready for MagSafe charging, also compatible with Apple Watch charger, strong magnets in the back of the case ensure a secure lock on MagSafe chargers, letting you enjoy tap and go wireless charging for your earbuds. Also, hiking backpack, clips on perfectly, hand free. Anyways, I can open the case with one hand, close it with one hand, That hurt my heart, I'm not gonna lie. But it was for science. 
Hopefully you can tell by the quality that the camera is picking up, but this thing is very, very well made, very sturdy, and it makes me feel super safe knowing that my products are gonna be all good. Protect your tech and protect the environment because ESR is carbon neutral. So reduce your carbon footprint by using ESR products. Make sure to check out ESR, link down below. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's episode. They have so many different products, colors, and all that good stuff. Again, thank you so much ESR. Click the link down in the description, support them, support the channel. Now back to today's episode. In my adult life, there's been a few things that I really want to cook and I'm too scared to, and one of them is homemade pasta. All it takes is two ingredients. Technically, you can do three with adding salt. So it's eggs, flour, salt. Or just eggs and flours if you don't want to add salt. I like salt, but that's it. And I've never done it before. <laughs> I don't know why. This is the smallest bag I could find of flour. It's all right. There wasn't really any great measurements online. I'm gonna measure with my heart. I was gonna wait to cook this pasta whenever the movie started and people started showing up so I could eat my dinner with the movie, but apparently there's a snack shack and I want popcorn for the movie. We'll have to look online to see what movies they're actually playing tonight because I'm not even sure what movie they're playing. <laughs> That feels right, kind of. Kind of make a hole in the middle, like a volcano. Two eggs, I think, I don't know. One, two. Okay, well it's overflowing on my volcano. It's overflowing, it's overflowing. The volcano erupted. Okay, so that's not usually what it looks like on videos that I see online. Okay, maybe it's a good thing we did this when no one was at the movie theater. Guys, this is not, I feel like I didn't do like a really great job. I'm gonna be honest. If I actually successfully do this, this is your sign to try it at home. Rolling pin who? You don't need all that fancy equipment. Yeah, hopefully not. Hi, this is this is Becca from the future editing this. Um, I, it's only egg yolk. I messed up. I know, I know, I know, I know, but uh, try to ignore it. Anyways, back to cooking. <laughs> huh? Who needs a pasta, uh, the, the, the roller thingy, whatever? Who needs that? Not me. I went to Canada to hang out with second cousin, Sandy, but uh, her and I talked and she's definitely more of like a second mom. I have a mom in America and I have a mom in Canada, but it's, it's definitely a little bit of a complicated story how I only just met her this year. I am just super blessed to have such incredible family in Canada and here in America as well. And I, I know I have family in Portugal, like it's, it's kind of crazy. This is just the start of our, you know, relationship even though we're related, it was, you know, I just met her this year. So we have so much catching up to do and I didn't bring the cameras at all. And I just spent, you know, I think five days, four nights, whatever with her. And it was incredible, except for the first day that I got there, I, uh, I got sick. So yeah, I was like deathly ill the first day that I got there, but Besides that, it was just the most incredible time and um, I just want to go back. That's It's like all I'm thinking about is I, I just crossed into America today. I was only with her a few hours ago and it's just like all I'm thinking about is how bad I just want to go back right now. We just have to be able to keep each other in mind. So if you haven't talked some, to someone in your family in quite a long time and you're watching this video, this is your sign. Family is really important. You don't have to love everyone in your family, but if there's someone in your family you haven't talked to in a while, reach out to them. I think that came out better. I think it just needed to be like uh, massaged a little bit more. So here we go again. I don't know if I've ever been that disappointed in myself. Like it could still come out really good. So don't give up hope like I have. Please, some, someone's gotta have hope, so. Isn't it supposed to like, you know, float to the top when it's, um, when it's done? Look, if you guys didn't have faith in me, the pasta, psh, 
<laughs> looks like regular pasta, right? Because it is. This is what my pasta came out looking like. This, this is, yeah, this is the um, final product. <clears throat> so I just made regular pasta. We got two cars over there, so two cars have showed up. Two cars over here, too. This is Cinema 1. We're at 2, but people are slowly coming in. I don't even know what's playing on our cinema, so hopefully I find that out. Really want popcorn, and apparently I have to buy a ticket even though I paid to camp here. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, so anywhere. That's why we do it camp. <laughs> Guys, give us a Thank you. Well, getting cozy sitting out here. Went inside, got me some popcorn and a slushie. I ended up meeting the owners of this place, and they are absolutely incredible. And yeah, if you guys see this place on Hip Camp, you should 100% stay here. The owners are so cool, and they're really trying to like bring back drive-in movie theaters. And I think that's an incredible idea because these are so much fun. I'm like living out my childhood dream of sleeping at a drive-in movie theater because growing up, I mean, I went to them all the time. They're very few and far in between right now. And I think a really good way for the owners of this place to make money is doing hip camp. And I think they're doing a, a smart move by doing that because I want this place to stay open for as long as humanly possible. It's just such a smart idea. Like, this is so cool. I can't believe I'm sleeping at a drive-in movie theater. <laughs> I have to take my hoodie off. Whew. It got so buggy. I have had my fair share of mosquito bites. Why were they only going after my ankles? I'm not quite sure, but I realized I can see the, mo the movie literally perfectly fine. I'm just gonna stay bug free in here. It was cute, maybe a little aesthetic, but not worth it. <clears throat> Too many bugs. I could also turn my truck around and have it facing the movie and sit inside the cab. But I think this is a good idea. I like this idea, because I, I, it's literally right there. How am I gonna listen to the movie though? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna see if there's a way I can do that on my phone. So I'll get back to you guys in a minute. <laughs> I have downloaded several apps at this point, okay? None of them are connecting. One of them, I have a free three-day trial and that's not even working. Like, this one's pretty cool. This one was free, though. I don't even know if you can see it. Oh, not available in your region. Oh, can't do that. Yo's online stream comes from Cayuga. It keeps doing that. It keeps buffering. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it just got bit two seconds ago on my ankle. They're still in here. Sky is over there snoring. I mean, at least I can kind of watch it, right? Just can't listen. It's like uh, playing charades in a way. Very expensive charades. If I wanted my truck, I would easily be able to listen to it. Well, that's okay. I don't even know what the movie is. This movie is Furu... Furuso? Furuso. Furuso? Then there's another movie on after this. So the movies are going to be going until like past midnight. If there's a will, there's a way. I'm going to keep trying, but I'm going to eat my popcorn. The snack bar in there is like a full-on restaurant. They have everything you could possibly want for a movie. And this popcorn in my slushie at a normal movie theater would be over $20 easily. I think it was like 10 bucks or something. You can't tell me this isn't the coolest thing in the entire world though.
this movie ends soon and I think everyone's gonna be pretty loud leaving but with how tired I am I'm not really that worried about it so I want to hit the hay it was cool hanging out out there this is just a cool experience like I don't know what to say I can't wait to see what it looks like in the morning um I just I don't know I feel like it's gonna be so cool waking up here just as cool as going to bed here so I'm actually really excited to wake up tomorrow and see what, uh, I don't know, check it out, scope it out, bring you guys along with, but it feels weird waking up at a, a drive-in theater in the morning, but yeah, it should be really cool. Hitting the hay, catch you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Aww. It was fun. Can I do the an, a medium ice blueberry donut with just a splash of almond milk? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. It's just one of those mornings I didn't feel like making coffee. And uh, the only thing I've passed in the last almost hour is Dunkin' Donuts. So, not my favorite, but I'm excited either way to have some caffeine in me this morning. But good morning. Welcome. Hi. I haven't talked to you guys. Basically, the reason why I haven't talked to you guys is because I'm making my way back to Rhode Island. Today, I have five hours left for my drive as we speak. And I'm really hoping just to crush the drive today and make it all the way back home for a couple reasons, but Lila and I are like, we're done living in Rhode Island. I'm, I'm moving out of the state, we both are. Um, and I haven't packed at all. Every, like nothing, only Lila's stuff is in boxes and we have a couch we need to sell uh, because it's not coming with us, it's too big. Uh, so we have so much going on right now, it's absolutely nuts. Which is another reason why I didn't stay up in Canada longer with my family. I would have stayed way longer than the five whatever days. Like I, I really wish I could have stayed way longer. But yeah, I woke up this morning and there was no one at the movie theater. It was beautiful, it was so cool. I didn't hear anyone leave last night. Um, right before I went to bed, that movie ended and the other one started. And I only, like, you could barely hear the people leaving on the gravel road. It was so quiet and nice. I slept like an absolute baby. I felt so safe there too, which is so important. I would have to try to come up with a complaint right now, you know, just to have one. But there, there really just isn't any on my end. I had so much fun. There you are. Thank have you. A great day. Yeah, you too. Whoa, that's so good. I'm definitely getting pulled over. I was waiting for his lights to go on. Yep. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. I hope he's nice. How's it going? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Heading back home? Yeah, I'm sorry. All right. You know why I stopped you? Everything good with your license? Yes, sir. No outstanding tickets or anything? No, no. Okay. Just give me a minute. I'll try and work with you a little bit, but... I'm sorry, yeah. I'll be right back. So, I just give you a little bit of a break, but just so you know, anytime that we stop you out here for speed, we're obligated to write to this. I'm just trying to stay in at 65 to 75. Okay. All right. Thank you so Good much. Time. You have any All questions right. for me? Uh, no, not really. All right. Well, hopefully the rest of your journey goes a little bit better for you, and hopefully <laughs> everything works out with that for you as well. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. No problem. Drive safe. Yeah, you too. Brutal. <laughs> at least he was nice. I ended up talking to that cop for well over 30 minutes and he was a very incredible guy and I have a clean driving record and he was just helping me out on a, a lot of things that I didn't want to share just because I don't want to get him in trouble but he was an incredible cop and I'm so grateful for that. After a long five hour drive, we finally made it back to Rhode Island and Sky has a vet appointment tomorrow, which technically already happened. So I don't know why I said tomorrow. Um, sh everything's good. The vet checked on her. She's doing amazing and that makes me so happy. I'll keep you guys posted on her health, of course, 
but so far no updates. She's just doing really well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support and coming along with on this adventure. Sky and I are going to be hitting the road quite soon, so get ready for that. I'm so excited. Anyways, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one. Bye.